ஹலோ கைஸ் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு பைத்தன் ப்ரோக்ராமிங் டுட்டோரியல்ஸ் பை அமுல்ஸ் அகாடமி ஸோ இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் டுட்டோரியல் வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் தி பைனரி சர்ச் டெக்னிக் ஹவ் வி கேன் சர்ச் அ கீ எலிமெண்ட் இன் தி லிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் நம்பர்ஸ் ஸோ டுடே வில் ரைட் தி ப்ரோக்ராம் ஸோ இந்த பைத்தன் ஃபைல் ஃபஸ்ட் வி நீட் அ லிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் நம்பர்ஸ் ஸோ ஐ இல் டேக் தி லிஸ்ட் டிரெக்ட்லி and here this is the list name and these are all the elements if you want you can take the user input also using list comprehension method next to use the binary search technique we need sorted list right so here we can see this list is not sorted so first we need to sort it so for that i'll use the sort method okay so this is the list method so we can just mention the sort and we can sort this list 1 so now list will be sorted so i'll print that all right next we want to search a key right so i'll ask the user to enter the key so for that i'll take a variable okay so i'll ask the user to enter the key we want key as an integer input that's why i took int function here i converted the input function to int in python 3 by default this input function will take input as the string value but here we want integer input right so next i want to search this key in the list 1 and for that i need to use the binary search technique so what i'll do is i'll define the binary search function and i'll call that function whenever i want all right so here in the beginning of the script i'll define the binary search function all right i'll use the def keyword and i'll give the function name as binary search next i'll take the two parameters that is first one is list 1 and second one is key so here we need to search the key in the list 1 right so we need list 1 a list as well as key so these are the two parameters next inside this function body first we need to take two index right so in the previous class we discussed about the binary search example in that first we took the first element as the index low and the last element as the index high okay remember low and high so this low and high are the index which will indicates the values of the list so first i need to take two index here i'll take first index as low and zero high as length of list 1 minus 1 because if you remember in the first step i'll take this as low initially and this as high so zero is the low index and this is the last index is the high index okay so that's why i took low is equal to zero okay high is nothing but length of list 1 minus 1 because here length of list 1 is nothing but 7 minus 1 that is nothing but 6 that is the this index okay this index is high so this is nothing but length of list 1 minus 1 that's why i took like this next we need to find out the middle index right we need to compare the key element with the middle element so for that i'll use the formula low plus high truncated division 2 so this mid is the variable name and here we can see in the previous tutorial we used this formula right low plus high truncated division 2 to find out the middle element so that's what i did here next i need to check whether key is equal to list 1 of mid that is nothing but whether key is equal to the middle element if s yes, key is found else i need to check key is greater than list 1 of mid middle element okay if true then i need to execute this statement if key is less than this i need to execute this statement right i need to check this three condition so for that i'll use if else statement so i'll check this condition first whether key is equal to middle element so here i'll check if condition and i'll check whether key 
is equal to list one of met okay if it is true then i need to print key is found right so for that what i'll do is here i'll take a variable called found and initially i'll assign the value false to it okay when i'll found out the key i'll make it as true all right this is a variable i'll assign the false value to this variable initially if i found out the key then i'll make it as true a if condition i need to check the next condition that is this whether key is greater than list one of middle element if it is true then i need to do this low is equal to mid plus 1 okay if key is greater than the middle element then low is equal to mid plus 1 else okay if both this condition become false that means key is smaller than the middle element so i'll write this statement okay if both this condition become false then this condition is true else i'll take high equal to mid minus 1 okay so these are the condition next here i'll check this condition any one of this condition need to be true so if this condition becomes that means key is found if this condition becomes true if key becomes greater than the list one of middle element then what i need to do i need to take low is equal to mid plus 1 all right so i need to forget about this left side numbers i need to concentrate from here to here again i need to find out the middle element here and i need to compare the key element with the middle element right i need to repeat this process again i need to repeat this code again and again so for that i'll take this in a loop okay i'll cut this and here i'll take a loop and i'll take while loop here okay i need to run this while loop until this low less than or equal to high always if low becomes greater than high then i need to stop this while loop okay this is the one condition and the second condition is when this becomes true if found becomes true that means i need to stop i found out the key element now no need to run this while loop okay so i'll take not found okay here found value is false initially here we can see not found is nothing but true okay if found becomes true then not found becomes false if this condition become false while loop won't execute then i'll paste that code align this well all right so here we can see we need to execute like this until low is less than or equal to high okay when low become greater than high i need to stop that's why this while condition next here outside this while body if found is true then print key is found else print key is not found all right so here if found becomes true while running this while loop then print key is found otherwise print key is not found okay so this is about the binary search function now i can call this function here so here i'll call the binary search i'll pass list 1 and key so here i'm calling this function so now if i save this and run this if i enter 3 key is found if i enter 25 key is not found okay so this is the binary search algorithm first we need to take the list next we need to sort that because we'll apply binary search technique on the sorted list next i need to take the key element from the user i need to ask the user to enter the key element the element which need to be searched and next i'll call that binary search function i'll pass the list one and key as the arguments 
so this is the function call so it will execute this function definition so low is equal to 0 high becomes length of list 1 minus 1 and found is a variable first we will assign the value false to that variable next here we can see the while condition so these are the two conditions low always should be less than or equal to high if low become greater than high we need to stop searching and not found here when found becomes true okay i need to stop searching found become true is nothing but we got the key element so when found becomes true i need to stop searching and this is the while body so this is the code we discussed in the previous tutorial and if found become true i need to print key is found else i need to print key is not found all right so this is about the binary search program so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care